in uh, New Mexico, and um, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, we found out is uh, there are lots of rats down here that like to get up underneath your hood of your vehicle, where it, whether it's you know your tow vehicle, the car you drive, whatever. Um, we have a couple different things that uh, I want to show you um, as to how we keep the uh, critters out from underneath the hood. What we did is at the Walmart you can buy these little solar lights. They're 97 cents a piece. We just put them out in the sun all day and then at night we uh, lay them underneath the truck. Uh, you know, of course, right there by the engine compartment. And we also put in some mothballs because apparently the rats don't like the smell of mothballs. And it takes a long time to catch a lot of those moths, you know, to collect those, to put them in there. Um, But uh, anyway, um, there's there's a lot of other RVers down here too that are that are using the solar lights, or they run another uh, light that they have plugged in to their RV, and they'll run it out underneath their rig. So uh, once we get those underneath uh, the truck tonight, I'll, I'll uh, show you how it works, and then I'll uh, show you some of the other vehicles that are here in the campground that are doing the same thing. So, um, just another tip, if you're down here in New Mexico, in the southern part, they have the kangaroo rats and uh, the bigger pack rats and all that kind of stuff uh, that seem to like something about the wires on the on your uh, vehicle. So, um, we'll show you that later. So, I wanted to show you our uh, solar lights. I know it's not completely dark out yet, but I was afraid if it... Uh, was too dark you wouldn't be able to see but we have them there underneath the the truck we've got the hood open and we've got some mothballs right here and then we got some more right there in a the little pouch but uh, when it gets dark you'll be able to see uh, the solar lights and stuff a lot better and the other thing we decided to was that because of the solar lights when we're back up in Oregon um, we're boondocking a lot more and the solar lights will come in handy better because you know we're not going to have power but I'm going to walk down here through the campground and show you some of the other people that uh, that have their lights out too so you can see our neighbors here they got some solar lights under their rig, and then they've got another plug-in light right there underneath their RV. And then we'll walk down here and you can see some more lights that people have out under their rigs to keep away the rats. It's an expensive fix, that's for sure, if they uh, get into your vehicle. I know when we first came in here, we thought everybody was celebrating Christmas early, but it turns out that uh, the lights are to keep the critters away. We actually had more problems with... Uh, <clears throat> the mice and stuff when we were up in Oregon. But there's some more of those 97 cent solar lights there from Walmart. And there's their, I don't know if you can see it, but there's their cord with the light right there. They just don't have it turned on yet for their car. Usually everything's all lit up by this time of night, but you can see that RV right there. They've got a light inside the front there to keep out the the rats and stuff that are down here that like to get in and 
chew things up. But <clears throat> just thought I'd let you guys know that uh, you know if you are down here or even up in the northwest in Oregon where we were from, we were at Magone Lake uh, campground and uh, everybody in there had their hoods popped and we thought well everybody at first we thought well some people were just working on their their rigs or something and then the campground host came around and says oh I forgot to tell you we have these big huge pack rats that come in here and uh, they'll get in and they'll chew your wiring underneath your vehicle if you don't pop the hood because I guess with the hood popped it lets in more light and uh, they definitely do not like the light but uh, even down there you can see how people will put lights out I know some of it's for decoration but uh, a lot of people put the lights out for just to keep out the the little kangaroo rats and stuff that are out here. You can see those solar lights again there underneath their rig.